<laughs> Bonjour, bonsoir, dear friends, and welcome to JCB Live. This is wine and Thanksgiving style today. We're going to celebrate this fantastic and thankful time of our life. Can you believe Abraham Lincoln celebrated Thanksgiving and gave it a national holiday? All this time, it's been one of the most thankful time of all time. And we won't get into the details of Thanksgiving. Everybody knows the definition and what it means. But what we're going to do, Rafael and I today, is bring a lot of sugar, a lot of sweet and sweetness to your life. Because look at that gorgeous saucepan. We're going to create two of my most favorite wow. tart. Wow. And I really thank you for that. One was developed by two sisters, the Tata sisters in France. Can you believe in 1880, those two sisters were running a great hotel and for their guests, they were offering a nice tart. It was, you know, apple harvest and they were cooking it. They forgot it in the oven. As on every moment you forget something, something great comes out of it. This is what we say of life as well. If there's a negative, take the positive of it. And this is what they did, is then they put a little cream on it, they put some vanilla. All the guests were amazed about how great it tasted. And that became Tarte Tatin, to the name of the Tatin sisters and their hotel. So we should have a toast to be thankful of whatever happens in life, there's always a positive. And this is why we should be thankful, all of us, to be alive, to be radiant, to be luminous, like the wine, and to keep a certain level of mystery. You see, I could have sabered it, but you've seen me saber so many times. Thankfulness to know each other, to be together, to have a lot of fun together in the kitchen, with Raphael and of course with Donnell on the cocktails because she's gonna show us some amazing cocktail in a few days as far as what you should do for Thanksgiving. But to get started, a French wine in honor of the Tatin sisters. So cheers, dear friends. And Raphael, we are ready to learn oh, how yeah. to do it. Delicious. Well, as everybody knows, this is a Joshua's favorite dessert, just like you say, right? So for this recipe, I'm gonna do some, uh, I, I decided to use, you can use Granny Smith apples. I'm using uh, uh, the um, Fuji apples because I have more flavor. And Rafael, I'm gonna add a little twist. Is it okay as you were caramelized? Maybe like a tiny bit? Just a tiny bit, there we go. Here we go, there we go. Look at that, dear friends. There we go. 21, there you there add 21 to yourself. So then I have a nice caramel already working. I did some uh, uh, star, uh, star anise and a piece of cinnamon in there. So now I'm adding uh, a little bit of butter in there just to get the caramel going. Uh, so this is almost ready. So for this one, I peel the apples, they're ready to go. So I use uh, my special tool that I have in here. For well, these apples, you're gonna make a magical hole in the so middle. So you put a, a hole over it, and, ah! it, and it gets a whole piece out, like the seeds and everything, and it comes right out. So the next, the next step is to do. So these apples, I peel them to get ahead of the game, of course. Um, I put a little bit of lemon if you want to let it sit, so for a while, so they, they don't get oxidized. Then I'm gonna cut them in four pieces. Right, four pieces. One. And I'm using about a six apples to, to put them in a cast iron uh, because this is the, what you need to use for uh, to make the caramel. So let's start. So see the caramel is nice. That's what you're looking for. They so the uh, warm spices because you know, it's, of course, Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that right right in the corner. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my apples. She's right there. Put really put like a soldier right there. And to you go all the way around. They keep putting it all the way. And make sure that you, if you put a little a splash of lemon in here, it's gonna help you for um, for the it's gonna help the sugar to not get crystallized because it gets really easy 
increase the light when it's touched. Like up, of course, they're, because the apples are cold. All right. And it looks beautiful. And dear friends, know that the tradition of tartata is not only with apples. And we make them with peach, with pear, mm -hmm. as well as um, quince, which is fantastic. So if you have those other fruit in the house, same technique, right? Mm -hmm. But different fruits. There we go. Gorgeous. So you're going to put one more in there because as they cook, they're going to shrink. You don't want that. So I got more pieces left over. And then this one, they're going to cook slow, you know? You're going to cook it for, since the caramel's already, it has a nice color, we're going to cook it for at least, for at least 10 minutes. And so they, and so they, they incorporate all nicely, you know, like, if you have a time, you can put a little bit of that, with a spoon, kind of like, tilt it to the side. But usually that's, it's going to be amazing. Shall I get going on this now? Yes. It's about time I do some work in Ooh, the kitchen. La -la. Look at this. We obviously pre-prepared it, but dear friends, again, how far I'm going to try it. Try it, I know. Mmm. Yeah. So tell us how you made this one. So this one is just, uh, I use about 500, 500 grams of uh, flour with a pound and a half of butter, pinch of salt, and a cup of water. And if that goes in the, into the mixer, you can mix it by hand. Mm. And then that's it. Let it rest for at least an hour, and then you stretch it. You roll it. Yes, that's and um, again, organic flour. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very important. And I think here you've used the famous Camut flour. Camut flour, yes. Again, you feel it because it has somehow a lot of richness. And if you did not, attend any of our previous shows, the Kamut flower came from Egypt as one of the most beautiful grains and healthy grain and was part of the diet of Cleopatra and then Nefertiti and all the most wonderful feminine queens of Egypt. So a very powerful, beautiful grain. And, and today it's very trendy in pasta, in pastries, we use this flower that is organically grown as well and, and is magical. Mm -hmm. So you see what Rafael is doing? He's bringing the glazing on top, you know, so they get all nice flavor in there, you know, and of course, you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of a splash of, maybe of rum. A rum, no, I'm gonna do vanilla, fresh vanilla extract. So it's gonna give the nice flavor. No, I always like to use Vanilla bean, but vanilla extra is going to give a nice extra flavor. Of course, the And the beauty of this dessert, dear friends, is Ooh, we have uh, so many versions, versions of it. And it's the best way to put fire in your kitchen. Yes! Hey, we don't have enough fire in California, so, so why not start in your home? There we go. But the version of Tartata over the years from 1880 to today, so every French restaurant would do a tartata and what actually you just did is the flambé very flambé, often yeah. with cognacs armagnacs or rum you would add it even at the table in fancy restaurant when you serve it uh -huh. so we add a little bit of a flambé it's called a flambé tartata flambé the flame and psh, and, psh, and it's pretty cool it, awesome. it so burned so a few restaurants as well but, you know. <laughs> So you, you see, JC, you see, look at how beautiful they are. See, nice, it's gorgeous. Caramel, they're gorgeous. And the, oh, this is going to be your sauce, you know? And now, shall we add a little bit of bubble? Oh, hey, uh -huh. Is that? I, I personally believe sparkling wine in the Tartata. Maxime's, the famous French restaurant, mm -hmm. Rue Royale in Paris, which is today owned by Pierre Cardin, has been the epicenter of joy and celebration in France. The who is who would go to Maxime. Had multiple recipe, one of them with champagne and sparkling wine, and uh, obviously the traditional one with rum and cognacs and armagnacs mm -hmm. and or brandy. But I think the grapes really add what would you use, a lot of flamboyance to it, a lot of light. We should use yours, dessert. right? The one you have? We are ready. <laughs> Let's use the Cognac 69. <laughs> and we call it the Tartatin 69. That is amazing. So, so take that off. 
shiz real quick. That goes right on top. And don't worry if they look a little bit, you know, crumble or uh, just tag it in real quick right there. Yeah, just put it to me. No, it's not how you do it. My mom used to make it different. No, right? <laughs> no, my mother did it exactly the same way. Yeah. And then that's it. We're gonna brush it out with that, some egg wash. I do uh, egg yolk, touch of water, and then that's it. Isn't it cool? So everything happens, dear friends, in the saucepan. Yeah. That's the fun it's part. It's not flavorscaping. Yeah. Everything is there. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Very well said. We capture the flavor upside down. And it's like the water. pizza where you have the top on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I love this dish because look at how gorgeous it is. See, hot pastry on top, caramelized your apples, perfect. And the apples you can use whatever you want, you know, Granny Smith, Fuji, uh, Honey Crisp, whatever. And the Honey Crisp- Gravenstein, if you are in Sonoma, because this is the apple. Or another one, which we use in our side of the Gala, because it has a lot of sugar. Yeah. And it's, uh, when it caramelizes, it becomes as well part of the caramel and it takes it in and it changes within the apple itself. So it's a great one. And look at the miracle of time. So this is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for at least 20 to 25 minutes. Depends uh, of the color, what you're looking for, an amazing and crispy and caramelized color, which is... <gasps> which is hot. now... What? Look at Already this! Made. See, it shouldn't look like that, right? So did we turn it over? So we're going to turn it over. You get a yes. nice, something, maybe a play, large play or whatever. And then you just go, boom. He did it! One, two, three! Wow! And that's the apple tart tatan. Oh, I think we need another little yeah. celebrate! Well, Woo! here we go, Raphael. So how long did it take all in? This is like at least 30 minutes. Yeah. To 30, 30 minutes. Uh, but dessert. it's pretty quick, so it's you have quick. guests coming. You don't want to buy dessert because why buying when you can do it? So Raphael, I want to make a toast to this really iconic French dessert and having, you know, the, uh, the cinnamon, the, the cinnamon, anise, which is yeah. nice warm spice. And that's Thanksgiving. And mm -hmm. do you remember the great drink Danelle created with cinnamon? So maybe we want to serve that with this dessert, not just JCB 21, but she did two cocktails. You remember one before dinner and one after dinner, which was a little richer, and she used cinnamon. So you can maximize yep. all your ingredients for your liquid and the solid. I love it. So now, dear friends, we have another dessert we want to show you, which I think is very cool. And why it's cool, Raphael? With those bubbles, look at that. No caramel escaping, nothing else. Let's go. Mm. So the other dessert we're gonna make now has a big relationship again with the French. And I'm not trying to push my French background, of course, but I wanna give you the sense that when the French came to New Orleans, and we're talking about 1860, 1870, they brought a lot of desserts, they brought a lot of tradition. And they discovered those amazing pecans that according to the Native Americans, they were already doing a tart. Not exactly like this, but they were displaying on flour cooked, a form of a pastry, pecans with a form of a glaze in between. And it was apparently fantastic. The French discovered that, they loved it, and they maybe improved it, at least to the Western style of diet, with what we're gonna show you right now. So this recipe, Pecan tart is from New Orleans with the beautiful pecans that you've seen here that you've roasted, right? Mm -hmm. the roast, the How did roasted. you roast them? Just gently at, at 275 degrees for at least 10 minutes until they get the nice... On a toast. nice plateau in the oven. In the, in the oven did you yeah. add sugar on it? No, no sugar. Nothing. It doesn't need anything else. Yeah. yeah. And they are absolutely phenomenal. And which is great is you don't want to roast them too long. Mm -mm. So you don't want them too hard, right? No. So, like just like you used to say, the next one's gonna be a pecan pie. And it's another great dessert for Thanksgiving. And for this one, I'm using about uh, two pounds of pecans. 
whole crush, whatever choice. This is all about choice. I have a two cups of granular sugar. And with this one, we're gonna do uh, all the mix first. So that it'll be easier. So let's do this. We're gonna do... Uh, oh, maybe I do that. Yeah. I gotta do something in this kitchen. Employ me for something I can do. So you do six eggs. I want six. Six, six in there. All in. All in. Todo. Todos. Todo completo. Oh. Safe. Es mi placer. Si. And as a Jay-Z. So the one. eggs come from the organic garden we have here at Raymond Vineyards. And I, you know, the more I go to many of your homes, the more I discover one or two chicken in the garden. I really recommend people get wild, whether it's a portion of Hyde Park in England or it's a portion of Central Park in New York or whatever we want. I think it's so cool to have chicken floating around and get them to be wild in your house because you're gonna have an amazing yolk. Look at this color of yolk. I don't wanna know if you buy eggs. If you don't see that level of yolks, that intensity of yellow, it's not a great egg. So be really entrepreneurial in that and raise your own farm. If you have your own roses, you did six or how many you did? Six. I love it. So yes. next, let's do the corn syrup. We do now two cups of corn syrup. All of it in? All of it in. Ooh la la. Here's your spatula. Yes. You see, in case the world goes wrong, I can only be a, a sous chef in the kitchen. You see, I'm, I'm working on my further life here. <laughs> Next I time. love being in the kitchen. There's nothing more fun. Half a cup of brown sugar. Okay. Like this, Total. all around. Yeah, all around. All right. And the vanilla extract. Mm, very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Todo dentro. So you've used it a little bit as well. Yes. In the tap. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So now we put this to the side, and then you're gonna whisk all this mix. All so this I'm gonna let you whisk because he has such a nice whisk. Look at that. Years of practice. Do we want to whisk it in really well? Incorporate everything. And of course, let's not forget the butter, right? Butter, butter. So butter, at the butter, meantime, butter, butter. we're going to recommend for all of you with those desserts to as well enjoy white wine. Don't just think of dessert wines or bubbles to go with the tartata or the pecan tart chardonnay. This one is phenomenal and has done so well. White is done so well because it's a very shabby with a little oak style. So it's not too rich, but it's not too light at the same time. So when you think of desserts and the sugar, the caramelization, maybe the rum, the vanilla, and obviously the cinnamon, you want something to work very well with it. And this Chardonnay, our dear friend Brian Maloney has made it with so much style and charisma that this is insanely great. Remember, Thanksgiving, Phenomenal celebration, you want to go history. And when you think about when the tartata was invented, 1880, when you think about the pecan tart, we think 1850, 1860, Buena Vista, 1857. So you go back to history, you are part of a Thanksgiving that celebrates as well time. And we think it's so important to celebrate time through Thanksgiving, to be thankful of the people who came before us and who are teaching us all the things that we're now harvesting. So it is our role to inspire all of us for that and obviously the generation to come to continue what we started as well and what we're continuing from the tradition before. And I think that's so exciting, 1857, Chateau Buena Vista. I mean, literally, one of our most successful Chardonnays. So rush to the store, and if you have a store or a restaurant, you must have Buena Vista because one of the fastest growing winery in the history of the U.S. at this stage between the Chardonnay, the Pinot Noir, the Red Blend, and naturally the Cabernet from Napa. So I'm very excited to serve with dessert in general white wine. Yeah. 
And obviously we make an amazing uh, Tokai Asul, if you're interested in six Putonios, which will go very well as well with the Tartata or the Pecan from Buena Vista. But I think the Chardonnay is something you would adore. So the next one, I'm going to add some melted butter, about a um, half a cup. Melted butter. It's not, there's no, there's no. How is in here? Here it is. Here it is. That's what's going to happen around this lovely waistline. Right. You see, when I wear my chef coats, you don't see it, but now you do see it. But I mean, life is meant to be enjoyed, is meant to be appreciated. And I think, again, we talked about eating within a certain level of, you know, no excess. To be excessive, but not big quantities. And I think if you have a slice of each of those tart, it's not bad for you when you think no, about not it. At all. You know, egg, Maybe a little delicious. flour, just a little sugar. Maybe a little butter, yeah. just a little. And, and then, you know, fruit and pecans. So this I made, I pre-made uh, pie, the pie crust, or we call it the pat brise. This is uh, another French word for it. No, if I'm pronouncing it right. So I made this one already. I'm going to show you how to roll it. And it's going to go right here. But I really want to make, I uh, want to show you how to make the dough. Like it doesn't make sense showing you this versus we had to make it first, right? So I'm going to squeeze in right here, Dylan. Don't worry, Dylan, you're right there. You're good. Let me just squeeze in right here. Right? So I have a two pounds all purpose flour. And this is gonna like, um, if you, if you want to use just enough for uh, one pie or two, the rest of you can freeze it. It freezes really well. The next I'm going to do a, uh, a pinch of salt, right? That is going to go in. You can mix it by hand, but it's going to be a little harder to mix it by hand. And I'm going to do about a, uh, Start mixing in and about a pound of butter. You can use half butter and half Crisco, but I really don't. I just like the flakiness and the richness of the butter, so that's why I'm doing butter. One pound. And now we're back. We're stopping the noise. It's too loud in here. So anyway, so it's done. And this is ready. See, it's nice and incorporated. Nice and smooth, that's what you're looking for. And this one, you can just, uh, you gotta let it rest in the, in the refrigerator at least for, for at least uh, 20 to 30 minutes or up to an hour, whenever you want it. That's it. Now we're moving in to rolling the dough. This is my favorite part. Makes me feel like I'm baking and when, every time I bake, it makes me really happy and excited. Oh my goodness. Let's go. <laughs> the little craziness is the whiny thing. I don't know what it is. I thought you love to use a bottle of wine to spread, you know, if you don't have one of those fancy ones. Yeah, you can use pretty much it, but this is the best way to go, you know? Boom, 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 boom. And when I'm really looking like nice, kind of like thick crust, it's cakey and, you know, that's what exactly we're looking for. So, let's put this thing to the side. Vamos, Bandoleo. I'm sweaty. Anybody has some water? JC! You see, another way to do it, dear friends, is you do it this way. Just gently. This is history, gently. going to the pastry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So did you make it the same way as the yeah. ta ta one? No, that one is different. Here, I'll give you a measurement. Mm. Very good one as well. See? This is nice, like, nice and thick. It's kind of what I'm looking for. I want it too thin, because you want to be able to... There we go, there we go. They're in the middle. And the man. Mm, it's a good one as well. Yeah, the, the taste profile is very different. It's different, right? So what is it on this one? This was just uh, uh, two pounds of flour, one pound of butter, pinch of salt, mm. and uh, two two eggs, one cup of water. That's it. And this yeah. one, if you want to make it sweeter, you can you can add sugar, of course. Of course, yeah. A little bit of sugar in this. Yeah, one. very nice. And fabric, lots of density and richness to it. Yeah. And this one, she's gonna cut it all around. 
Like a, a little moon? Yeah. In this one, if you have the leftover, please don't throw it away. Save you it. You just eat it like Jean Charles, raw. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. Just put this plate to the side. See the thickness? That's what you're looking for. Right? Mm -mm -mm. And this is what we're going to put them in the baking dish. Right? Perfecto. You just gotta pinch a little bit to the sides, right? Pinch, 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 all the way into finish. It's just simple. Daisy, what do you think? You like it? I find it gorgeous. See, push it and to the so side. attractive, and you so fast. See? I'm learning. I'm watching, like all of us. A little flower in the middle. Make sure there's no air. Boom, boom, boom. Just to make sure. Maybe a little flower in your hand. Woo! Ah, ah. It's, it's gonna be Christmas soon. And then I have one they already made too, of course. You know, so I wanna make that. two pies, one for Ugh. one for you, one for Danelle. Yes. One for Keith, well we're having a great there. dinner tonight, so it's very important that we celebrate with both. And then so. I'm gonna put the nuts in the bottom. Boom boom boom. Okay. That goes in. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a pecan pie, of course, it has to have a lot of nuts in it. And here it goes, magic is happening. Yeah. This is so fabulously gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. I mean, did you show everyone this beautiful color? Wow. Nice and glazed, see? And this is so Thanksgiving. And this, of course, is double recipe. You can do single recipe. Just cut it in half. And you should be good. We have a lot of guests tonight, so we got to celebrate. See? We're celebrating always. Right there. And as we pour in, dear friends, it's so important to be thankful and to have gratitude for all that is happening and really to promote for us at the dinner table at Thanksgiving the philosophical ideas of unity, of accepting diversity, of really indulging on equality, on managing and acknowledging differences that many of us are different, but it's great to be different because the world is a richer place thanks to that. And really to encourage, you know, understanding of others and being grateful that we all so different. And that's a wealth, a richness to the earth that we have different religion, different skin colors, different belief. And this is really what we believe as all of us in the wine world, this unity and in the food world that brings everyone together. The table does not make any difference who is around it. And we want to be inclusive and we want to really use wine to unite all of us. So this is why we've created JCB Unity, which was a great success already sold out and I know many of you have it so maybe you want to serve it as the red wine with this wonderful Thanksgiving I will be serving it because I think it's so important to be thankful and to make sure we accelerate solutions of differences that we all realize we have too many of and we want to really erase them and start fresh in 2021 and for the years to come to really bring unity in our world and, and collaboration and really understand that we all here to participate to the great world we live in. So this is our belief at the Wesley Collection and of course, thanks to wine. Woo la la! So this is the final product. Ah! The final creation. Oh la 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 la. Can you do that this again? Be your crown. Oh, ho, 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 I crown you. So, dear friends, I proclaim Raffaele, the knights of the kitchen, and such a talent. So, let's have a toast to this, Raphael. Thank you. The bells of Thanksgiving. Oh, Chardonnay. Mm. So, we got to see how beautiful it looks. So, how long was it prepared? It takes a long. It's an hour. Oh, it's one hour. At three and 350 degrees. So that's done. I'm gonna get my knife. So yeah. maybe we could just one slice. She has one slice. Yeah. Because we want to show you how beautiful it looks. 
Right. Look at this profile. First, I'm going to show to everybody how gorgeous it is. Look. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. I want to go there. Oh, the smell <laughs> is fabulous. So, like I say, you want to go like, you know, a little bit on the thicker side. And I always like to use this crust because it works every time yeah. it works. You can do apple pie and it just works amazing. And the, the other ones, it like, it kind of crumbles. I tried different yeah. recipes, but this one is like... Well, and as you said, two millimeters. This one I got it from, uh, from your mom. Great. That's a, that's a recipe. She's is quite the baker. Time? Yeah. I'm glad you in touch. You know? The next thing we're doing is kombucha because Ooh. my mother was the queen of kombucha when we were younger. And I'm excited about it because Raphael is following the guidance and improving the recipe as we all in life improve always from the past generation and and this is the excitement of it. So Raphael, do you suggest anything on top oh, of that's a lovely. So you yes, do yes, ice yes, cream yes. or you no, do No, you know what? This is more like um I did some a nice chantilly. Or what oh what chantilly. chantilly. Oh did you make some? Oh yes. Ooh la la yes, let it. me try it first. Okay. Mm. You do the king. Mm. Mm. Dear friends, this is Chantilly. So, Raphael, it's, it's just vanilla, that's it. A big history of this in France. From the town of Chantilly outside of Paris. Mm. Which is today one of the most amazing playgrounds for horses. Similar to the South in Kentucky, the Derby. If you want to think about Horse racing, this is Chantilly, and they always serve you a dessert with a Chantilly. So how did you make it? This is just uh, two cups of whipped cream. Whip it until like almost, almost about to be done. I don't like, to, and then you can add just your powdered sugar, about a cup of powdered sugar and a touch of vanilla. Yeah, extra. you have some vanilla in here. Vanilla, yes. Very vanilla nice. Extra. And then that's it. So look at this. So in fact, it's not excessively bad for you because it's nuts no and, it's good hmm? it's and then the tartatan tartatan wow the tartatan show it to them before Oof. we execute All this right. is magnificent so, this one, mm. so you always cut the whole half huh? yeah because then they, they you go again and again and again yeah. and then you go right there but this one she's gonna do what i need that's right, right? so let me help you here oh Perfect. And it's the same. Look at how exciting Thanksgiving is going to be. You know, I'm going to cheat again. <gasps> Do a little more Maybe I'll find a little cream on, on your nose. Maybe too <laughs> slow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask Donnell to come and take it from your nose. <laughs> I know she'd love to do that. <laughs> Typically, he does that to me. You all remember, yep. it was my turn. So you did it for both, huh? Yeah, for both, why not? You know? This but one I you, love the idea. This one you can do ice cream? Yeah. Whatever, but... Looks good, you know, maybe you should keep it oh. all night. <laughs> <laughs> well, dear friends, what an amazing time. Raphael, anything to add on this beautiful recipe? No, just a nice dinner. Fabulous Over dinner. Here. One is an hour and a half. The other one is 45 minutes at the most. Yeah. You have your dessert. It's unique, it's original, and it's great style. So, Rafael, let's toast. I'll give you a little bit of mine. There we go. And be thankful to exist, to breathe, to be alive, and to have the opportunity to create and bring people together. That should be the theme.